this season for gifting and great gift ideas and maybe how about an interesting book all right it's elizabeth taylor the grit and glamour of an icon is the name of it and i'm honored to be with the author i love all authors but kate kate anderson brower welcome to first coast living how are you doing i'm great thanks so much for having me okay let's just start with what what uh, inspired you to write a book like this yeah, so I, I've written about first ladies before, and I'm always interested in powerful, strong women. And I got to know Senator John Warner, who was Elizabeth's sixth husband, and they were married in the 70s. Um, and he introduced me to Elizabeth's family, and she had four kids. And she passed away in 2011. When I got to know them um, about three and a half, four years ago, they said they were finally ready to let a journalist see her letters and diaries that have never been published and really tell the story of her life to a younger generation. So um, it was an honor to get to go through all of that. Right. And that must have been an incredible amount of research, uh, a lot that went into that. What was that like? It was tricky. I mean, I went out to Beverly Hills and they have an office there where they have a room full of boxes and carefully archived material and also costumes from National Velvet and all of her, Cleopatra. I mean, it's incredible. Oh. And they have an archivist there, somebody who is just in charge of keeping track of all of her things. And so I worked closely with him and I got to go through these letters where, you know, first I requested letters to the husbands, you know, and I was very interested in the letters to Richard Burton where she's, you know, they're very passionate and she's pouring her heart out to him and um, asking to get married a second time. I mean, they're amazing. And in one letter, she says, you know, I don't want any more jewelry. I just want you. Mm. And I think it's very, um, it, it's very interesting to get inside someone's head and see things that they didn't necessarily want the public to see. I just thought as a journalist, it was an incredible opportunity. Right. So you kind of do, you're going to actually share a side of Elizabeth Taylor that we may not have uh, thought about or known. Yeah, I mean, she was very multifaceted. She was the first celebrity influencer. She had a business empire, a huge perfume empire with white diamonds, right? And um, she was an incredibly passionate person who took on the AIDS crisis when nobody else would. And I have in the book details of some of her famous friends who weren't willing to help her when she needed their help in the 80s. Um, and I think it's a testament to her courage that she went ahead and, and helped people who were dying at a time when literally people were afraid to touch these men, mostly gay men who were dying of AIDS. And she would go to AIDS hospices, no press were invited or allowed. She would cancel visits if she thought the press was gonna show up. And she would hold these patients and talk to them about their lives and offer to have their dogs walked. And you know all of these little things that I think add up to an incredible life. I think of Elizabeth Taylor, I think of some of her friends you were talking about like Michael Jackson, I enjoyed listening to his music. And uh, do we talk about a little bit about that in the book as well? Yeah, Michael Jackson is definitely a huge part of the book because she got married at Neverland Ranch to Larry Fortensky, her final husband. Mm -hmm. And um, she and Michael were, of course, very close. They were both child stars. She never believed the allegations against him. Once you were her friend and loyal to her, she was going to be there for you every step of the way. And there are stories in the book about her like helping Michael get treatment for the first time. And she whisked him away to Europe and had like a decoy plane. It was this undercover for operation. It's pretty incredible what she did to help him. Well, thank you so much, Kate Brower, Kate Anderson Brower. Uh, looking forward to reading your book. And of course, for much more on this, you can head to our website and that's firstcoastliving.net.